My friends, welcome to Once Upon a Pipe. Not long ago, I was on the Etsy shopping site and I was looking up pipes and discovered something that really piqued my interest. It was a corn cob pipe, but not like a normal corn cob pipe that I had seen before. In fact, when I think about corn cob, I think about something like this, something that I got from eBay, or another great eBay find. How about this? If you've watched my channel before, you know I've mentioned Scott with Aristocob.com and definitely encourage you to go check out his site. But this is my Dagner comp. And it is, without question, one of my absolute favorite corn cobs to smoke. And not just corn cobs, but one of my favorite pipes to smoke. I got this from Aristocob.com as well as this uh, Devil Lance Cuddy. So thank you, Scott. There's a, however, a new place, a new corn cob pipe, at least new to me, that I've discovered that I absolutely love. And it does not look like any of my regular cobs that I have in my collection. So I would like to introduce you to these pipes. I'll bring the camera over here. And let's take a look at these gorgeous pipes. And today I'm smoking a little Sutliff Moto Doce. Look at these pipes. These particular cobs are from a gentleman named John Reed. He is the owner and maker of these cobs and his place is called Reed's Tobacchiana. You can find him on Etsy.com for sure and I will make sure to uh, put links in the description so that you can easily navigate your way to his site where you can check out some of these cobs. I have uh, smoked two of these, one I haven't yet, but this was the first pipe that I got from Reed's Tobacchiana. And I will tell you, this is an absolutely wonderful smoking pipe. Let me show you one of the things that I like, not just about this pipe, but with all of the cobs here from Reed's. I love how well the stem fits into the aluminum shank. It is really, really good. It's an amazing fit. And uh, I like the fact that it's nice and snug and it's straight and it stays that way. Look at that. What an absolutely gorgeous pipe. I do enjoy this. Uh, actually, there is a little bit of weight to it. Of course, it's a good size cob. As long as you don't mind the weight, it's probably not something you want to keep clenched in between your teeth for an extended period of time, but certainly you've got a hand that you can use. And, and one of the things I like about this, it fits so well in my hand. I don't mind holding it. I like a pipe that feels like it has some substance to it. And this one definitely does. I'll show you the other one. I have not smoked this one yet, but again, Wonderful, wonderful job. I like the way it feels. It's not quite as heavy as the first one, but it has a really, really good feel to it. This one, um, I could probably hang on to for a while and keep that clenched into my, 
and in my mouth for uh, a good while. But again, if it's too heavy, if you find that that's a chore for you or if it hurts your jaw or teeth, then by all means, hold it with your hand. I'm, I'm quite comfortable with this. So really fine. I've not smoked this one yet. This one, I was going to try my best not to smoke any of these when I got these just a couple of days ago, but I was too excited. And so I, I had to try this one out and make sure that I can give you a good report, an accurate report. So uh, again, excellent fitting stem into the shank. Um, very comfortable in my mouth. It is, like I say, a little bit of a weight, but you know, when I hold this with my hand, it feels like it has substance and it just smokes fantastic. So in all of this COVID-19 quarantine mess and all of that stuff that's going on out there, we are limited in the places we can go and in the things that we can do. I think if we can make the most of this time and these moments, and if a good cob pipe and some good tobacco will help us enjoy where we are just a little bit more, then by all means, let's do that. And check out Reed's Tobacchiana. As always, my friends, I thank you for tuning in to Once Upon a Pipe. And I look forward to seeing you again. I hope you have a great day or great night wherever you are.